Thank you for joining me, everyone. Uh, I'm in West Belfast, and as you know, our deputy leader, Jada Franson, spent overnight in the police cells. Today, she was in court in Belfast, and the police desperately tried all they could to have her thrown in prison immediately. No bail, no tag, no curfew, straight to prison. I am pleased to report, as you may have seen on the news, that the judge, to her credit, threw out all of the requests from the police. So without further ado, I would like you ha to hand you over to Deputy Leader Jada Franson. Thank you boys and girls. Thank Yay. you. <laughs> Hello everyone. Um, excuse the bedraggled look as usual. I'm getting sick of saying this, but I'm sorry I look such a mess and I'm sorry about the greys. I'm always in a grey tracksuit when I come over here for some reason, but um, yeah, really pleased to be out. Um, as Paul said, the police tried absolutely everything to remand me for a video that I, uh, I filmed, a two minute video, I think, and I put up just explaining I was outside of one of the, the tallest and the longest peace war in Belfast and I was just explaining about what's happening on the mainland and what I anticipated our country would look like in 2030. For that heinous crime, um, as soon as I got out of court yesterday, I was taken down, I signed for my bail and they cuffed me straight away, carted me back off to the police station. Um, so another night in the cells, uh, another load of interrogation um, and I was charged for exactly the same offence as the other charge. Uh, carries up to two years in prison so I'm racking these charges up thick and fast I have to say at the moment uh, <laughs> at the moment I'm looking at collectively with the the four charges on the mainland the, the two yesterday and the one from today I'm looking at uh, a total of six years six years in prison and i tell you why it's because i dared to mention the i word you're not allowed to mention islam ladies and gents if you do they will throw everything they can at you but i think they haven't quite grasped yet although i think they're starting to realize that they can do whatever they like it is not going to silence me it's not going to silence paul the whole of the britain yeah, first yeah. movement yeah. Yeah. So uh, rest assured, no matter how many times they haul me in and dress me up in these grey tracksuits, <laughs> it will not have any effect on our absolute uh, desire and uh, there's another supporter <laughs> desire to take this country back from the, the treacherous government who are handing it away. Um, so the judge has upheld a condition that I'm not allowed to be within a certain distance of any public processions in the whole of Northern Ireland. Um, but she did, to her credit, say that I should at least be allowed to attempt to adhere to those conditions before I'm remanded into custody. Now this morning they had already made arrangements for me to be taken off to the local prison here and I would have been in there for a good few months. Um, I just want to wrap up by saying there's a few ladies and gents behind me here who are absolutely sterling. Um, God bless them. Not everyone's still here. There were uh, a load of people outside the prison last night that were holding a flash demo, um, asking for me to be freed and, you know, just insisting that we have a right to free speech. So God bless absolutely everyone. And I know there's been hundreds of messages of support. I still haven't even charged my phone battery. When I turn it on, I'll try and get back to everyone. But look, we're all in this struggle together and um, it is a fight that we will keep fighting till the very end. Have no fear, they will not take us out of action. And if they do manage to lock me up, you know as well as I do, I'll be coming straight back out and I'll be getting straight back onto the streets and the fight will resume. No surrender! Yeah! And please join us on Saturday the 13th of January for the next Britain First rally over here in Northern Ireland. As you can see, we're getting a big team assembled over here in Northern Ireland. Okay, a big team and things are really taken off over here in Northern Ireland. So join us Saturday the 13th of January for our next big free speech rally over here uh, in Northern Ireland. God bless. Back.